Are glaciers shrinking at an alarming rate? Ominous predictions of disappearing glaciers can make you believe we will soon see the end of these slowly moving rivers of ice. Climate change is also having a measurable impact, the loss of glaciers and the melting of the ice. In the wake of climate change, the once mighty glaciers have begun to melt. A third of all glaciers could melt by the end of the century. Is there really cause for alarm? Melting glaciers are not as simplistic as the headlines may sound, and the answers begin hundreds, if not thousands, of years ago. Glaciers can be separated into two general categories. The first are continental-scale bodies of ice found in Antarctica and Greenland that are called ice sheets. We'll discuss these in a later video. In this video, we will focus on the second type of glaciers that are found in high latitude and high altitude areas and are known as alpine, piedmont, or freshwater glaciers. During the many frigid epochs in our planet's history, these glaciers expanded, advanced, and even destroyed whole villages in their path. During the warmer eras, glaciers have retreated and melted. It's cyclical, and it has been happening for millions of years. We are currently in another warming period, with temperatures rebounding from a 500-year bitterly cold period known as the Little Ice Age. It was likely the coldest period of the last 10,000 years. Even though the current beneficial warming began over 300 years ago, around 100 years passed by before most glaciers started their current retreat. The melting was delayed because winters were still quite cold and the snow accumulation was large enough to compensate for the rate of melting during the warm summer months. But by the early 1800s, the modest warming gradually began to overcome the snow and ice accumulation and then global glacier retreat began. Bear in mind that ice does not melt easily. Because they are mostly white, glaciers reflect most of the sunlight that falls on them. Ice is also a good insulator, so the warmer air around the glacier does not reach the internal ice. As a result, nearly all the melting happens at the surface. It also takes 80 times more heat to melt ice than to raise the temperature of an equivalent amount of water by just one degree. That's why glaciers respond very slowly to changes in temperature. Glaciers advance or retreat at different speeds. Not all glaciers around the planet are changing at the same pace. There are many factors that determine their growth or shrinkage, and temperature is just one. Their size, location, altitude, topography, and precipitation trends are all determinants that influence the movement and size of glaciers. Glacier Bay in southeastern Alaska is often visited by tourists traveling on Alaskan cruises and is held up as the poster child of global warming's melting of glaciers. While it is true that global warming is causing the retreat, what goes unsaid is that the onset of the melting began around 1800, long before we humans began adding significant CO2 to the atmosphere in the mid-20th century. The ice of Glacier Bay has retreated some 60 miles, but tour guides scrupulously avoid noting that the first 50 miles or so of melting occurred naturally before the large increase of fossil fuel use of modern times. Menacing headlines about glaciers melting frighten more than inform. But now you know it's far more complex than it appears. The experts at the CO2 Coalition never retreat from the truth about climate. Go to our website now to stay up to date.